So today, what we're going to show you is Steve is going to highlight our smoker for us. We've got a brand new smoker, and uh, I think we ought to roll up our sleeves and get started. What do you I'm, think? I'm ready for it. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, what, are we, what are we cooking with today? Uh, today, we're going to use the smoker for the most part. Uh, we'll use the camp oven a little later on, but we're going to start out with our smoke vault here. This is the 24-inch version. Uh, it's got four racks in there as well as a drip tray, which also uh, put water in there to keep your meat moist, uh, and then the chip tray down there in the bottom. And that's but today where we're not going to use water, are we? We're not. We're going to use beer today. Yeah. So liquid. So a liquid. Sure. A liquid, and that's to moisten the meat. So, oh, exactly. And it gives a different flavor. You can use uh, Coca-Cola or, or any kind of, anything. you know, you anything. You Apple bet. juice. You bet. All right. So what do I need to do to help you? I think it's it's simple and easy to get fired up. We'll preheat it here. We've got the propane turned on. You just kind of got to get the gas run in there and click it a couple times, and it'll get fired up and going. And then from there, uh, we'll add some chips. Once this, this cast iron chip tray is heated up, we'll add okay. some chips to it and get it smoking, and we'll be ready to go. And that's as simple as it is. It is as simple as it is. It's not hard at all. All right. Okay. What we're going to do now is uh, we're going to get started, and I'm going to give Steve our fish. He's going to go over and rinse them and pat them dry because you don't want that water on there because you need them dry so they'll soak up the marinade. What we're going to do is we're going to make a very simple marinade, but if you wanted to, you could go and get all kinds of different kinds of rubs. They make rubs, they make marinades, but you know, and it's, it's very expensive to buy smoked fish. It's very inexpensive to do it yourself. And uh, my, my inexpensive way is just to buy any kind of Italian dressing. And you'll see us use that here in just a minute. So what I want to do is uh, we're going to have some cilantro. And it all depends on your taste, how much cilantro you want. You like cilantro, you bet. Steve? You bet. Cilantro is great. OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the stems. Wrong knife take off the stems and discard, dis, discard them, take the cilantro and chop it up pretty fine. It doesn't have to be real fine because it's going to go in the marinade, but um, you can buy smoked salmon or, or salmon, fresh salmon at the store. This recipe can be used for uh, uh, trout as well or uh, I like salmon, that would be my preference. We're using fillets and we always leave the skin on, on one side. And uh, You ready for them? Well, I'm ready for them. All right. We'll stick them in the bag. Okay. How many would you like in there? Oh, uh, just as many as you got. All righty. Now what we're going to do is once we get okay. the salmon we in, we bring it over here to the table. We cut the, the seal, pour the, just pour the whole thing in. You can put as many salmon in here as you want. Zip it up. Knead it a little bit and put it in the ice box. With this way, we did it in the Ziploc bag. You know, you, you get up to go get something cold to drink during the night or during the day, you know, mm -hmm. go in there and just kind of massage it a yeah, little bit, yeah. make, it ha make it happy. <laughs> so now this, is, this has been uh, in the brine overnight and we're ready to put it on the trays and okay. get it in the smoker. All right, so let's take out, uh, we, we do a tray in here that's a, a seafood jerky rack is what we call it. And it's got a finer mesh to it. So what that means is that the seafood or the jerky, whatever you're putting on there, isn't going to fall through. So we'll put it on there so that uh, we don't have a problem with it all peeling apart and coming through the normal racks. Um, but it's real simple and easy. I like to spread it out and have a little space in between them. You don't want them so tight together that they can't uh, get a good smoke on them. I mean, hear that sizzle. That, that rack is preheated and has a little, had a little warmth And why do it. you want to put the skin down? Uh, it'll come up a lot easier. In the end, it'll come up a lot easier. One thing I neglected to do on this and I, that I normally do is uh, I like to spray with nonstick spray because that oh, will okay. definitely come up easier. But also when you put the skin down, uh, it'll keep some of that moisture in uh, from the top of the meat going down in. That skin will and hold it the into the... keep the meat from falling through the grate. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's real simple and easy. It's, as you'll see here in a bit, this is, there's nothing like good smoked fish. I'm going to put it right in the middle of the smoker here. 
Uh, and on a true smoke, you want to watch your temperatures, on a, especially with fish. On a true smoke, you're actually going to want it to be right around probably 180 degrees, if you can do that. Okay. Uh, some smokers have a t hard time getting down that low, and if that's the case, just crack that door open just a little bit, and it'll actually allow you to do that. Uh, we'll add some, some, uh, some smoke chips, because right now all this is is an oven. It's a glorified oven uh, with n there not being any smoke in there, but we'll put some chips down in here and get those going. We're using alder chips today. You like to you want to use a mild chip uh, with fish because it's a fish is a mild tasting meat. If you do something like hickory mesquite, it's going to overpower it and kill your fish. Okay, so do something that's a good thing mild. to remember. Yeah, do something pretty mild. Any of the any of the fruit woods, cherry, pecan, peach, apple, anything like that, or taste really really good. Uh, and we're going to add a couple cans of beer I'll open today. One for so, you. alrighty. Be careful on that first pour with that pan being hot right now. It's going to sizzle Whoa, just a bit. Oh, it is going to sizzle. That'll get some steam going in there, though, and keep that meat nice and uh, moist. And nice and moist, that's, and you can smell the flavor. You can, and th that's one thing you really need to watch when you smoke things. You really, really have got to watch. They'll dry out really easily, so you've okay. got to keep this thing full. Even though we're putting a couple cans in now, we'll at 180 degrees, more. you bet, at 180 degrees, it's, it's going to steam off. It's going to burn off, so you're going to want to check that and, and replace the moisture every once in a while to make sure you're okay. And most of the time, low and slow. Low and slow is the key with smoke. smoke. That's exactly it. And you want to keep it steady. You don't want to go 150 to 220 and keep bouncing keep up and bouncing down. Up now and keep find your steady. Find your temperature and, and stay on that Check one. it every hour or so. There's our salmon there. Okay, we'll take a... Whoa, so tender. My goodness, don't, don't poke it with a fork. It'll fall apart on you. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. That is beautiful.